Hey, it's Teresa with My Lice Advice, and today we are talking about knits and lice eggs. What do lice eggs look like in the hair? What do knits look like? What's the difference? Let's get to it. So before getting started, just so you know who I am, my name's Teresa with MyLiceAdvice.com and I'm a registered nurse and I actually specialize just in head lice. And I own MyLiceAdvice.com where I teach parents how to do a professional lice treatment on their child at home so that they can get rid of lice in one treatment. Enough about me, let's talk about you, lice eggs and knits. I'm actually talking about the same thing here. I'll talk about differences in the future, but if you have lice eggs and knits in the hair, you have lice. There are nine ways to easily spot lice eggs. We're gonna talk about all nine today. Let's get to it. Number one, when in doubt, try to pull it out. If you watch any of my videos, this is the telltale sign of lice. Lice eggs are glued onto the hair strand. They do not come off easily. So if you find something, you're like, ah, is this lice? The first thing you wanna do is just try and get it out of the hair easily. Can you blow it away? Can you flick it away? Can you just move it easily? If you can't, then what you do is you pinch it between two fingers or two fingernails and physically pull it down the hair strand. Is that what you have to do to get it out? Is it glued on so tight that you have to pull it down? It's not easy. So if that's what you have to do, you have to physically squeeze between your two fingers and pull them all the way down the hair strand, then yes, those are lice eggs and you have lice. Let me just stop for one minute here to save you loads of time. So this where people pull out a knit with their fingers or between their fingernails one by one like this, it's called knit picking. And it is not the best way to get rid of these lice eggs. It will take you forever and you will miss a bunch of them. I'm only recommend doing this when you're trying to figure out whether or not you have lice or not. If you know you have lice, then don't waste your time doing this nitpicking. Instead, go to my lice advice and check out that step-by-step -step video system because I show you how to get rid of all of the lice eggs quickly. Number two, if you have lice, you will find several lice eggs, not just one or two. So when you have lice, you have bugs in your hair and these bugs procreate, as gross as that sounds. They lay little eggs inside the hair. And if you have lice, you're gonna find more than one of these little eggs. They typically lay somewhere between five and up to 10 of these lice eggs a day. So if you find something and you're like, ah, is this a lice egg or knit? Well, keep looking because if you have lice, you will typically find several of these lice eggs, not just one. Always check close to the scalp for knits. So lice eggs and knits are always laid right up next to the scalp, always within a quarter inch of the scalp. And that's because they need to have the heat of the head in order to grow and to hatch. Number four, check the hot spots. Now what hot spots are, are the places that lice love to lay their lice eggs. And the most common places for lice to lay their eggs are right at the nape of the neck, next to the scalp, and behind the ears, next to the scalp. So check for lice eggs in those spots first. The nape of the neck and behind the ears. Number five. Lice eggs have color to them. Probably one of the most misunderstood things is that people are thinking that lice eggs are gonna be white. They're not. Most lice eggs are either golden or a light brown or a dark brown color. After they hatch and the bug actually leaves the egg, then they're this transparent or white looking color. So the reason why people are a lot of times confused is because if somebody has like had lice for a really long time 
like this girl here. She's going to have a bunch of these white lice eggs. Sometimes people call these knits, the ones that are already hatched. Anything that's farther away from the scalp and is this white color, those are old, already hatched. But if you're looking to see if somebody has lice, what you want to do is look up right up next to the scalp and look for some of these golden, light brown, or even dark brown lice eggs right next to the scalp. They can look like coffee grounds. Um, that's what lice eggs look like when they haven't hatched yet. I will occasionally hear people that are confused think that the darker lice eggs means that they're dead, which is just exactly the opposite of the truth. If they're dark, then they have a bug inside and they will hatch and reinfest your hair over and over again. The darker the lice egg, the greater the threat because they will hatch sooner. As opposed to the white lice eggs, those are the knits, those have already hatched. Now, if you're finding a lot of white or yellowish things in your child's hair and you're not sure, is this lice or is this dandruff? I have another video tutorial that's called Lice versus Dandruff. And you can find that on my website, myliceadvice.com, as well as a bunch of other free resources. There's a lice cleaning checklist, and there's that step-by-step -step video tutorial of exactly how to get rid of lice in one day. Number six, lice eggs are on the side of a single hair strand. Now, if you have dandruff or other kinds of things, they aren't going to be on the side like this. I often describe this like thinking of a knit or a lice egg like the leaf on the side of like a stem of a flower on the side and does not wrap around as opposed to dandruff and other kinds of things. They'll either wrap all the way around or they'll just be on top of it. Number seven, take a closer look on a white paper towel. So I already talked to you about if you want to get a lice egg out of the hair, you're going to have to physically pull it all the way down the hair strand like this. Well, after you pull it down a hair strand, then put it up against a white surface. I recommend a white paper towel and take a look at it. I told you lice eggs have a color to them. So if you're finding lice eggs, what you're going to find is that they have some color to them like this. Um, so they're usually going to be like a dark brown, a tan, a golden color. And then if you're finding a knit, which is a lice egg that's already hatched, right, then it's going to be clear, but you're usually going to see kind of a brown tail. They're usually kind of two-toned. Um, so a lot of times you'll just see an outline. That it looks like a shell. So I recommend doing that. Pull it off. Take a look on a white paper towel. Number eight, they are always teardrop shaped. No other shape. Now, another telltale sign of lice eggs and knits is that if you did pull them off the hair strand and put them on a white paper towel, they're going to have a really distinct shape. They're always teardrop shaped. Um, they're not circular or irregular. They always have the exact same shape. Number nine, they always have a tail. Remember how I talked about how lice eggs are actually glued to the hair strand? Well, when you pull out a lice egg, you actually pull out the glue right along with it. And that glue that glues it onto the hair strand, that's what makes this kind of tail looking thing. So if you pull it out of the hair, put it on a white paper towel, you'll see that it's teardrop shaped and that it has a little tail on it. It's absolutely head lice. Okay, that is all nine ways to spot lice eggs and knits in the hair, but we covered a ton, so let me summarize. Number one, when in doubt, try to pull it out because lice eggs, they're stuck on the hair strand. They're actually glued. You have to physically pull them all the way down the hair strand, and it's not easy to do. Number two, if you have lice, you're going to find lots of lice eggs, not just one. Number three, check up right up next to the scalp because lice lay their eggs right next to the scalp because they need the heat of the scalp in order for those eggs to hatch. Number four, check the hot spots. Remember, these are the places that lice like to lay their eggs the most, behind the nape of the neck and behind the ears. So check there first. 
Number five, lice eggs have color to them. Remember, they're white after they've hatched, but you're looking for lice eggs that still have a bug inside of them. They're gonna be a golden, a light brown, or even a dark brown. Remember, they get darker and darker the closer they are to hatching, then after they've hatched, that's when they're that kind of clear color that can look white and dark hair. Number six, Lice eggs are always laid on the side of the hair strand. They're not gonna be laid on top of the hair. They're not gonna wrap around the hair. Number seven, take a closer look on a white background. Like I recommend a white paper towel. Remember, you gotta pull that lice egg all the way down the hair strand and then put it on a white paper towel and it should have some color to it. Um, it's usually gonna be golden, light brown, dark brown, or if it's already hatched, then it's going to be just an outline of a lice egg and it'll be transparent. Number nine, lice eggs have a distinct shape to them. They're always that teardrop shaped. And lice eggs have a small tail on them. So if you find a tail like this, then you definitely have lice. And if you do have lice and you'd like some help, then head over to mylicedvice.com. There's loads of free resources there, including a free house cleaning checklist specific to head lice. So that's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe below. And if you have a comment, feel free to leave a comment. And if you want to learn more about how to do a professional lice treatment at home, you can also find that on mylicedvice.com. I'll see you there.